असलम एंड वेलकम बैक टू गार्डनिंग इन गर्ल्स विद दिस ब्यूटिफुल ब्लूम ऑन माई अडेनियम प्लांट दीज आर माई बेबी अडेनियम्स विच आर ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर ओल्ड आई हैव टेन टू ट्वेल्व प्लांट्स लाइक दिस वन ऑफ दैम हैज स्टार्टड ब्लूमिंग एंड अदर्स आर जस्ट प्रिपेरिंग फॉर दैट In fact, I have planted ten to twelve seeds uh, of adenium in October twenty twenty, and all of them germinated. So all these plants are here in this garden area, but two of them I have kept in uh, my tropical garden area just as an experiment to see uh, that how it will respond to the shade. But anyway, this is not today's topic. Actually, today I want to give you some update uh, from my garden, especially uh, about the plants which we have repotted and propagated before Ramadan. Today's first update is that I have covered this area also with the green shade net. But this year I tried to fix the green net on some height so that it will not touch the trellis. and these vines can grow freely in fact i have noticed uh, that uh, they are really enjoying this shady and free space and spreading all around especially this mexican climber it has not only occupied the trellis but uh, it is spreading on the other side uh, on this wall also you can easily compare its growth uh, with the previous video and if you haven't watched it yet uh, then you can find the link in the description basically three different vines are uh, sharing this trellis uh, here i have mexican climber sponge gourd vine and in between you can see grape vine also that's why it's fully loaded with leaves and giving a pleasant look Okay now coming back to the main updates um, here uh, is uh, you can see my small propagation section where i am growing some seedlings and some cuttings in the soil and uh, some in water because uh, it's uh, quite cool and shady part of my garden so here are the cuttings which you have seen in the last video Let's see what is the progress after a month and a half almost. We will start with this um, chain of hearts or Mexican climber. I don't see any roots here, but then why it has a uh, fresh growth on it? Okay, these cuttings are from uh, this climber uh, here. Okay let's take out these cuttings and check them one by one All the cuttings look spoiled um but uh, I think the one which has fresh growth on it would have something yes it has one root on it I hope you can see this um okay let me try to separate it so that it will be more clear to you uh hmm, so this was the reason behind these fresh leaves okay we will plant this cutting anyway uh, but honestly i don't have much hope uh, cause this root seems to be very weak to me चलो खैर देखते हैं बट एट लीस्ट वी हैव लर्न दैट दिस प्लांट कैन बी प्रोपिगेटेड थ्रू कटिंग सो नो प्रॉब्लम वी कैन ट्राई इट एनी अदर टाइम कैन नाउ द नेक्स्ट अपडेट इज अबाउट दीज हिबिस्कस कटिंग्स जो कि मैंने डरते डरते बहुत ही बेयकनी में पहली बार ट्राई की थी और वाओ अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह इट्स नाइस although it took almost 2 months to show this result but finally it has developed good roots but they look very delicate and fibrous basically i thought that these uh, white dots will turn into roots but no no it was not like that 
only the roots have come out uh, from the last node area basically under the last node area now i need to be gentle while putting them back and shortly i will plant them and show you first let me show you a new plant uh, which i started propagating somewhere around in third week of april means almost a month and go and it's here now you can see its condition it's wonderful alhamdulillah uh, the stem and the roots all have grown nicely in the water itself okay i am not taking it out uh, because uh, these uh, roots also look very delicate but uh, i will show you um, these roots before planting it oh sorry i forgot to introduce the plant to you this is actually an other variety of malabar spinach you would have seen green malabar spinach in my previous videos right now this is red malabar spinach it grows as a vine it's basically a climber and you can grow it uh, as an annual plant also with a little bit of care even it has the tendency to survive during the hotter season at the same time just to experiment one of its cuttings of the same size i have planted directly in the garden bed here this is also uh, doing good but i feel that water propagation is better and faster than this method and here you can see one plant of green malabar spinach also both have same leaves just the stem color is different as per their names now i will show you uh, that i have planted its seed also one in this pot you can see the stem color is same maroonish um, uh, burgundy type color and the other one in the garden bed but this seed i did not plant it is a self grown plant here probably it fell from my hand when i saw it growing here i did not remove it uh, i will see how long it will survive here uh, near this uh, grape vine okay the next update is about this jasmine plant which is showing good growth and new sprouts you can see this shoot is directly coming from the roots and uh, even um, uh, Uh, this uh, stem is showing new growth on almost every node and as i have shown you that i am propagating this plant by directly burying a stem of mother plant and this whole method i have already shared with you in a detailed video here is our lantana plant which we have repotted last time uh this plant and its baby plants which we have separated all are doing well even it has started blooming with double shaded flowers and uh, i am uh, continuously pinching this plant to make it bushy next is this alamanda this is also showing growth but its growth is slow and the baby plants of this plant which we separated last time could not survive probably due to heat Here is our rose plant which we have repotted last time without disturbing its roots so now you can see the new growth on it and just to protect it a little more i have placed it in a semi shaded area here is my curry plant um, uh, which we repotted and we have separated its baby leaves also now you can see again it is producing baby leaves but the ones which we have separated last time they could not survive just like alamanda and um, now this plant is showing very good growth every branch has new sprout and this one also i am pinching but it is continuously kept under the shade net in my tropical garden area okay this update is very interesting this is pomegranate cutting which we i have just planted uh, as an experiment four to six cuttings i have planted two of them survived i was not very much hopeful about it because of uae's climate here and which two cuttings survived one you can see here and the other one is in the other part of the garden and i am quite happy with them
ओके व्यूअर्स वन अपडेट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू अबाउट दिस हिबिस्कस दिस इज़ टू मोटिवेट दोज गार्डनर्स और बिगनर्स हु डोंट पिंच और डोंट प्रून देयर प्लांट सी फ्राम हियर आई हैव प्रूनड दिस प्लांट टू गेट हिबिस्कस कटिंग विच आई हैव जस्ट शोन यू विद रूट्स and after pruning it is becoming bushier now you can see from one one stem now four branches are sprouting okay viewers here i have one interesting thing to share with you about the colors of the leaves or this plant initially i was worried that uh, i thought uh, these leaves are fading out but after looking at this new growth uh, i realize that no it's not fading out actually this is semi variegated variety of pink hibiscus so finally i was relaxed and now i am enjoying not only different shades of leaves uh, but they are changing shapes also and nowadays i have started propagating this uh, spider plant here uh, through the pubs Uh, directly from the mother plant i did not remove them i have just fixed them wherever they were and uh, this uh, i will show you in some other video that how they will progress now let's plant the cuttings see this was the cutting up to my hand uh, this maroon shade uh, only was the original cutting size and this extra thing is the new growth now let's see okay these are the roots here nicely grown but they are still uh, tangled because of the water and so fibrous okay so i will just without disturbing them i will plant them and uh, be careful dig a hole deep inside all the roots should be covered and then we will water it Okay right now I have provided a temporary support uh, to this vine but later I will fix um, a triangular uh, trellis here in this pot I will show you that what I am talking about First let me plant these hibiscus cuttings here Okay so now I will separate and you can see that their individual roots now see this nice growth inshallah it will do well okay after planting this uh, this plant does not need any support so after planting these both uh, we have to keep them in shade at least for one week then we can shift them to semi shaded and gradually to the sunny area Okay, the Mexican climber I have uh, planted in this pot here uh, because this pot was empty and it was uh, surrounded by other plants. It was quite shady area, so I thought it might be able to survive in these conditions here. Okay, now I will show you uh, that um, trellis which I am talking about. Here, this is the trellis. This is my green Malabar spinach. This one also I made at home uh, just by using three rods and some strings, and it's quite helpful. So same thing I will make in this pot for red Malabar spinach also, but not now. That I will do later. So viewers, I'm done with all the updates till date. Hope that you would have enjoyed the video. I will wait for your feedback about it. And now I will end today's video with this harvest of baby spinach and tomatoes, which is almost the last harvest of the season you can say. And I have picked some uh, spring onion also, uh jisko main palak ke pakodon mein use karungi. And I will see you with next video. Till then take good care of yourself keep enjoying stay blessed and allah hafiz